Hey everybody and welcome back to the Jedi Night's Watch. My name is Graham and today we're going to be doing a Mars Toys 1-6 scale figure unboxing and review. This is on the 1-6 scale prank villain. The It's based on the 1966 Joker and this is going to be a third party unlicensed figure so just keep that in mind. Um, this thing looks really, really good. It's gotten great reviews. I was able to pre-order the second batch of this figure. Uh, finally got my 1966 Batman to pair with this prank villain. So I am super excited to get this thing out. I watched the movie growing up and it's very, you know, fun and campy and silly. But it's a it's a good movie and it's a it's good uh, rendition of Joker. So really excited to uh, review this for you guys I, I think this is gonna be a stellar figure you know from what I've heard so far in the past so yeah the box is very colorful just like the figure is gonna be and, and a lot of the accessories and again this is MAT 013-A this is from Mars Toys and you do have the prank villain the Joker himself on the cover in a little bit of a, like a silly pose I love this it's just some of these like the, the Harley Quinn, like some of these boxes with all this color and, and fun are are just that. They're a lot of fun and I like them and it's nice uh, to get away from sometimes like the Star Wars boxes and whatnot. But once we get this thing on the table, we have a better look at the front. It's got like all these woos and ha-has on the front too that I am just noticing. And then we have this little print of the uh, Joker himself there on the front, just kind of funny. And that obviously that 1966 vibe. We take that off and then we can see the figure in the clamshell. Guys, if this was like a Hot Toys figure, I would swear that this is like a DX with all of the cool stuff he comes with. Look at all these hands. Look at all the head sculpts and look at on the bottom tray, just everything we get. Look at all the color. This is going to be a fun figure. I am so excited to get this thing out and actually like get him in poses and just see what we can do with it. So I do have some questions, you know, about the... Uh, you know the type of body the quality of the body and I think we're gonna get into that you know pretty quick here but um, the, just the first impressions this guy looks so amazingly good let's get him out of the box and we're gonna do things a little bit differently actually we're gonna start with all of the hands all the head sculpts the figure in the first tray it's just a lot easier than getting everything out but you have the gloved hands and lots of different you know hand gestures here we have a thumbs up I thought this was like a paint mishap there at first but there's like a just a little hole in the glove that you can see like skin through so that's what you're seeing right here but really nice detail on the gloves you know we got that like wrinkle effect when we're, you know, your hands are in a certain position we got a finger point we have gripping hands we have fisted hands we have the gesturing hands so anything you want to do with this figure you're going to be able to do and with these three head sculpts i've never seen this before you're going to be able to do different, you know, facial expressions as well. You know, obviously we're going to find some quality issues here. You know, these pegs are loose on a couple of these. You know, there's going to be a couple other things too that we're going to note here. But again, it's third party, so you do have to keep that in mind. I love that we can see the uh, mustache here on the Joker. Um, he refused to shave for the movie and for the TV series. And, you know, they just painted over it. So I love that they added that detail in here. I like both of these head sculpts a lot, I think. I think I like the the one on the left here the most. Let's just take this wrapping off while we're getting this guy out and throw it to the side. And let's also compare the stock one that comes with it. It looks good. There's um, like the teeth. I don't know if it's like supposed to be like that or if it's like the paint application. But obviously the paint application for Mars Toys is superb. Not going to be quite as good as Hot Toys, but very good. And here we have all of the accessories that come in the bottom tray. We have the, the fun shorts that you can put on. It's like a thin almost like a papery material it's not paper but it just kind of feels real thin and and kind of um, stiff it's got the elastic up here so you can just put those on if you wish I don't say this very often but I love this base what I love about it is that it says Batman and it's got the logo and it says Joker it doesn't say prank villain or the third party name it actually says Joker so you can put this thing in your display and it'll actually you know represent the Joker from the Batman there's some some bubbles in the in the sticker so that's kind of kind of sucks but it's not the end of the world you know here we have the elastic mask that he can wear as well the picture frame that you could just do some fun you know different poses with not much to it but the very ornate um, you got these cool flowers which I'm looking forward to doing some poses with this just a 
a lot of different options, which I really like. You know, there's things that I can actually see myself using, but I love all the colors in this stuff, too. It's just kind of fun, and and this guy really brings me back to my childhood. The Total Dehydrator. Man, I remember seeing this, turning these, these guys into, like, dust. Again, another quality control thing here where mine, it cracked on the edge, so I actually had to glue it back in, but it is fine. There's just a little bit of a crack right there. So, again, you know, we've got, like... Just some issues, you know, here and there with, with the figure and with the accessories, but, you know, nothing to cry home about here. So, cool rubber hose here that's green. You got the cylinder cylinder on top, you know, Big Ben Distillery, and again, it says Total Dehydrator. This is like a backpack, so you can use the straps to, you know, put on the back of Joker and kind of have him. And we'll get him into a pose with this on, too, so you'll be able to see it in action. But those are the accessories. Now, let's get the figure himself out here and take a look at the prank villain, the Joker from 1966 movie. I love this purple suit. It's almost like a pinkish purple. It's it's pink compared to like the Heath Ledger and the 89 Joker, but I love it. it. It just stands out so much. I love the facial expressions. You got the pinstripe pants going on. And here's just a closer look at the head sculpt itself. Again, the paint applications obviously aren't gonna be as good as a Hot Toys figure, but I am super, super impressed with what Mars Toys is doing right here. This is actually my first Mars Toys figure. I have the um, Willy Wonka on pre-order, and I'm thinking about getting the Riddler as well. So definitely, uh, they're definitely doing some really good stuff. I mean, when you put this in your display, I don't think you're gonna be able to tell that it's a third party. Um, just taking a look at the figure in hand, you can see the head sculpt. It looks like it's like a flat paint, so the teeth here kind of just, I don't know. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way or not, but the teeth don't look the greatest. Again, it was 1966, so they didn't really care about their teeth as much, so that could be it too. But the paint on the, the white paint actually looks like somebody applied it. You can almost see like a pinkish hue sticking through just a little bit to make it look like skin. The hair looks great, very well sculpt, uh, sculpted, very wavy and very nice. Just really well tailored outfit here. It looks really, really good. Fits really, really nice. You can just see the quality of the, of the outfit as well. You know, very nice stitching detail on the inside. I love that the vest itself actually has a magnet here, so you can actually, you know, it sticks to the um, the body of the figure itself. So that's a really good idea. They didn't have to do that. That's very nice. I'm very happy with that. You got all the buttons here, uh, pinstripe pants again. Uh, he even has socks, so just really nice attention to detail. The shoes actually have somewhat of like a surface on the bottom. They're going to be a plastic, really shiny with the, the fake stitching going on in it as well. But, um, yeah, you can just get a good look at it. I love the, the, the coat here. Just uh, really brings me back to this movie and the nostalgia and, and all the feelings I had as a kid watching this because, you know, before we had 89 Batman, this is what we had for Batman. So this is kind of what introduced me to Batman. I just remember all of these silly parts of the movie. But let's get into articulation here. It is going to feel loose. It's going to feel... It's not It's not going to feel like a Hot Toys quality figure. That's for sure. Very loose. Doesn't feel like cheap, but... Kind of. Um, you're going to be able to do whatever you want. It's just going to feel a little uh, delicate or a little cheap in the hand. It's not going to have that heft like a Hot Toys figure would. But double jointed in the, uh, in the elbow. A swivel also in the shoulder and the bicep there. So this thing's going to... The clothes aren't restrictive either. Look at it. You can easily, you know have the abdomen area, you know, movement there. Um, legs are going to be able to do whatever you want. No problems there either. You can get it to about a 90 degree angle right here. And then the knee actually has like a ratchet uh, and it has a double bend there too, but no other ratchets except for in the knee, which I thought was curious, but um, I'll take it. The shoes, you know, have um, swivel and, and bend to them as well. Very loose. You know, you're going to probably need a base to hold this guy up, but we kind of knew that going into this because Again, it is going to be third party, and typically they're going to be uh, saving money, obviously, in the license area, but then in the body as well. So this thing's going to aesthetically look really, really nice, and that's what counts for me. Here we have him standing next to the 1966 Batman. The height looks about the same. Um, they look great together, and I'm so excited to put these two together on the shelf and have that 66 representation. But let's get... The 89 Mime Joker out here, too. Just kind of a comparison. Get two Jokers standing side by side, and they look great together, too. I think there's just a lot of options you could do on your display. You could have him with, 
Um, 66 Batman, you could have him with all the Jokers. You could have, you know, pairs of 80, you know, 89s, 66s, and then you could do, um, you know, the uh, the Christian Bale trilogy if you want. So uh, there's just a lot of stuff you can do, but let's get him into some poses, see what this figure can do, talk about some of the things that I like about the figure, and some things not so much. Starting with the things that I really like about the figure, well, the first is going to be that it comes with three head sculpts. It's unheard of. I've never had a figure come with three head sculpts except for the new Venom. So that is just amazing. I love having all the facial expressions to choose from. Really, really nice job by Mars Toys just packing this thing full of cool features. The second thing that I really like is how, just how well done it is. It's... um. For a third-party figure, you wouldn't guess by looking at it that it's third-party. This thing could pass for Hot Toys, and that is a job well done by Myers Toys. So that's definitely saying something. So really well done all around on this figure. I love the colors. I love the colors of the bouquet, of the outfit, of the base, of the dehydrator. It's just so much fun to pack some color into the display. And, you know, you can see in the background the Jokers stand out because they have that color. So I'm really excited for this guy to get on the shelf as well. The third thing that I really like is just the fact that they added that magnetic piece to the vest. You know, this thing could be winging out all over the place and look kind of nasty and, and whatnot, but it helps keep the vest kind of in place and just makes the figure look a little bit more polished. The last thing that I like about this um, figure is the base itself. I love that they went and put the actual Batman logo on the base, and then they actually put the name Joker on the nameplate because now... It just fits right into the display. You don't have to worry about it being a third party. Like, it says Joker, so I'm not going to have that weird name or anything like that. I really, really like that about this figure. Now for some things that I didn't like. Honestly, there really isn't much. There was some quality control issues with the base, with the dehydrator, with um, a part of the vest as well where it just kind of came unstuck. But outside of that, it's, it's a really good figure. Um, the only other thing that I would say is kind of annoying but you kind of have to take it when you're getting an unlicensed figure, is going to be that the, the body does feel cheaper. It does feel very loose. Um, but on the flip side of that, you're going to be able to put him in whatever poses you want to. So, you know, it's not always so bad, but um, this thing's going to look great on your shelf. If you're a fan of Batman and Joker, even if you haven't seen this movie, I suggest picking this guy up. He is so much fun to admire. So much fun to get into cool poses, so easy to get into cool poses, so I don't think you can go wrong getting this figure. Plus, being that it's third party, it's not going to cost the same amount as, say, a Hot Toys figure. So, I don't think you can go wrong with this. Mars Toys is, is going all out with the 66 stuff. Um, so, I think, you know, the Riddler's coming next. I think Catwoman and Penguin are coming too. So, you know, we always talk. We don't get enough villains. Well, now's our chance to actually get some of these villains from you know, a very reputable franchise being Batman. So really, really cool figure. I can't stress that enough. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of this figure in the comments below. Let me know if um, if you are open to getting third-party figures or if you're sticking to Hot Toys. I'd love to hear from you. Till next time, stay safe out there and we'll see you soon.